Hi, welcome to the uh, first tutorial on how to develop Java application on NetBeans IDE. So uh, today we'll be doing a uh, currency converter based on Yahoo currency converter. So uh, basically we start the uh, NetBeans IDE and uh, create a new project. Um, right now we'll just call the project converter. You could just call it anything you want. You could also use a different IDE if you want. Um, I'm, I just use NetBeans, it's the thing I'm used to. So uh, I just create a new project. We'll be creating a uh, Java application. Click on next. Yeah, let's call it converter. Um, you see where it says create main class and set as main class, have them both unchecked. And you just click finish. This way it doesn't create a new class for us or a file. We create the, fi the files manually. So uh, expand the source package. We see we, we don't have any files. So to create a new one, we right click, we click new. We choose the uh, J frame form. Basically we create a new form. Let's call it converter. And the package, we just also call it converter. So you click finish. Here we have the form, but before we actually uh, fill in the form, let's make sure that it has the main class. So if you just try to run, it says oh, you don't have a main class, set a main class. So we set the converter to have the main class. But since it's empty, it's really nothing here. But now you can see if you go to the source, instead of you having to go and do the main class, it does the whole thing for you automatically. Okay, now let's just, uh, the first step will create and uh, here you have the containers and all the stuff that you need to make. Let's uh, do a label. Enter amount. Basically this is the amount that you want to convert from. Say you want to convert $1, $2, $3. We have a text field. Let's preset it to Okay, we don't need this. Let's reset it to, uh, let's do it here. And let's uh, make a variable name for it. We'll call it the currency amount and the, uh, uh, let me see. Well, the text, we'll just make sure it's to one for now. Let's make it a little bit bigger enter the amount now we need to have the list for the currency from so let's just do this one here currency from and the currency to okay I already have the list of currencies I scraped it off Google, uh, not Google, I'm sorry, Yahoo. So uh, let's just select a, uh, where's the list? This is the list. So basically here we'll have, this is gonna be called variable name. Uh, let's just do it curve from, basically the currency from. So uh, let's uh, change here. Where's the list? This is the list. But basically, it's going to have the list here. We'll do it in a way that we could actually see the name and also have the code. Like US, US dollars will be USD. So basically, let's. Uh, I think I have it somewhere here. Preset. So let's just do it this way. But now let's we'll have to use uh, Dreamweaver to reorganize the uh, text style, I guess. I mean, I find Dreamweaver to be like a nice tool when you wanna search and replace many stuff or do a lot of stuff. So this is basically it here. So we'll just replace this. 
with a uh, new line which is this here see now replace all it gets everybody set for you and here See now, they're all organized for us. So let's just copy it uh, here. I don't know if these new lines will cause a problem. Yeah, they do. So we just have to take these new lines out as well. Replace all. Nope big mistake let's do it this way replace all another mistake <laughs> let's just do it this way replace these lines only replace all yeah this is much better now we have all the list clean let's just add it to the uh, list and click OK so we have the list here now we have to do the same thing for the currency too just have to change the name cur2 now we need the actual button to say convert convert now there's something we could actually get from Google too why do I keep saying Google? From Yahoo, which is the time the uh, when it's actually what time it's being converted, or, or, or what time was the last conversion. So it's basically going to be an empty label, but the uh, change variable name, we're going to call it result display time. And then we have a text box. Bum, bum, bum. Text box text field and this will basically have the uh, the value of the conversion so let's change variable name result display okay so we have everything this one needs to be disabled it's only going to be uh, just basically I mean we could have done a label but the uh, text boxes look nice I guess <laughs> so uh, let's see uh, where the disabled property is okay enabled uncheck it it's gonna be disabled now we have this whole thing here let's uh, go and start with the code basically we need to generate the uh, handler for this we just double click on it it takes us to the handler first step is to collect the actual values so basically let's get the amount get the amount to convert it's going to be a string cur amount text and we're going to take it from the cur amount get text function now we have the text now we have to check if the actual number is a number you just make sure that there are no letters check for numbers only so basically a for loop int i I will be the uh, less than cur amount text dot length the length of the characters I plus plus now we check if the uh, character is a digit now if the character is a digit then if it's not a digit then it's probably a number text dot char at and it's going to be i 
what we're gonna do is uh, have a text box basically an alert it's j option bane dot show message dialog box um, this and we just give him the message please enter a valid amount and we want to reset the focus to refield and return okay j option bane cannot find the uh, basically just some includes that we have to do we'll let it do it later on so let's worry about the includes later the uh, okay now we have the text let's reset the uh, display result display that set text make it empty now let's get the currency from and to the string currency from text is going to be the curve from that get selected basically we get the selected value dot to string now we have the string curve to text it's going to be the same thing curve to dot get selected value dot to string basically we get the selected value and this uh, to string converts it to a string this is more like uh, JavaScript if you have worked with it before and the uh, so we have it. now here's the thing the way the uh, curve text is designed is the you see how it says euro dash and then the code we basically have to split it and get the actual code from the uh, value so we'll just say string array let's call it temp it's null and let's do temp uh, equal the cur from text and split it with the this here now we have the cur from text and we have the split we uh, go to string cur from title that's basically the title it's going to be zero that's the title and then the string cur from code is going to be temp one now we have the code and the uh, title of the first one let's basically do the same for the second one we have uh, temp will equal cur text dot split okay then we have string hold on cur to text I'm sorry and then we have string cur to text temp zero and then the same thing string cur to code and it's going to be temp one basically we have the values of the uh, text oh my bad it's title cur to title and the cur to code now we compose the uh, url that we're going to access from Google, uh, yahoo so it's the 